Thanks for checking out my video. So these aren't the only sidewalk chalk tips, but these are the ones that I've been using. And I've had a few people ask me how I get my chalk to look so smooth. So first I'm gonna talk about my materials. For supplies, I use any type of chalk I have. Dollar store chalk, Crayola chalk, whatever you have to use. I have a bucket of water and a paintbrush. A nice large paintbrush works well. And then a little broom. Those are the materials that I use. So my process is first to clean the area that I'm going to start working with. Now on a sunny day, the perfect thing about this bucket of water is it's a great way to sketch out what I'm planning to do. Um, so real quick, I'm just going to sketch out the word hi, and if I don't like something, the best part is let the sun dry it up and you can try again. This is how I draw large sketches. So for this demo, I'm just going to do a heart. So I'm going to draw the heart, and then if I like how it looks, I'm going to quickly take a piece of chalk and just trace that outline so that before the water dries, I have a quick outline of the shape or image that I'm trying to draw. Then just fill in your artwork, whatever color you're choosing. And then the secret part of how to get it nice and smooth and to last is adding water. So I'm taking that paintbrush, dipping it in the water, and getting the water on there and smoothing it out. This also helps on a windy day too. So if you're working with something, draw small parts, add the water onto it, and it almost makes like a clay consistency so that you can paint with your chalk. It's okay if you get water everywhere because it will dry. So that's how I create smooth parts of my chalk drawings. To make sure it comes out evenly, I do go in while the chalk is wet and rub the chalk color over again and go ahead and smooth it out again. You can see how I'm clearing up some patches of the cement underneath. Now I'm going to repeat that step, clean my area, trace out my artwork, but I'm going to do two different colors. So the same process, fill it in, and then when you add the water, start in the sections first and then go to where they touch and blend them, and then gradiate it down with that paintbrush or create the gradient up. Have fun creating your work of art. Remember, use that paintbrush with the water to sketch out your idea. You can try different fonts if you'd like if you're adding words. Now, here's just a quick time lapse of letting it dry, and that's where the magic happens. Once your artwork is completely dry, you'll be able to notice that it's nice and smooth and it's got a solid color. Whereas if you don't add the water, you get those patchy chalk drawings, which are still beautiful, but this is a way to bump up those artworks. Here are some drawings that I've done in the last few weeks. If you'd like to see my artwork as I keep creating chalk drawings, be sure to follow me on social media at Anchored by Art.